welcome to another edition of Outside the Jimmy, where we will do the preview of today's racing from Gravel on the turf track, today 8th of November. Before we start looking at the form and the betting, just one or two things I would like to touch on. Um, for the persons who are watching this video for the first time, what Outside the Jimmy do is we do a form analysis and through our form analysis, we then find outsiders with, which we give you so you can include it in your play. Um, you add them to your selections and um, obviously and hopefully if they win with the outsiders um, either winning or placing, you then collect the bigger dividend. Uh, what we normally do is um, we want to keep this video as short as possible because some people want it shorter, some people want more information, but um, the midway is that what I do is I give you a, a, my first selection will always be the horse that I think can win the race outright. And that selection can be at any price. Then I give you two outsider selections in no specific order, which you then can utilize. And then I'll discuss one or two other um, horses in the race that I might think can also be involved in the finish. I just want to also inform you that I have produced two videos. The one video is how to read the computer form, and the other one is a video on how to find the winner and pick an outsider. The, the, the video on the computer form is amazingly, a lot of people don't use the computer form. For me, that's the only tool that you can use to find winners. But I sometimes think people are scared of the amount of information so with this video, we quickly run through some of the information and I point out to you, which according to me is the more important information that you can look at. Then in the, in the second video, we watch, we have a look at how to find the winner, what to look for, and also how to look for outsiders. Now, the price of each video is 100 Rand, but if you take both videos, you can get them for a price of 175 Rand. Also keep in mind that we have got subscription services and we have now a special for 250 for, for now till the end of the month. So if you subscribe from now to the end of the month for 250 rand, you will get you will get the video on how to um, use the computer form um, as a benefit to that. Then we have a subscription for 500 rand for November and December. And if you take that subscription, you for 500 rand you get both videos. Um, added into that subscription. So let us look at the betting in the first race. It's a maiden plate and it is over 1,200 meters. Here the betting is number 10, Western Novas, 12 to 10, Irish Bell, 2 to 1, 12 to 1, Kingdom, My Lord and Master, 14, 16 to 1, Jimmy and Rainbow, 18 to 1, Count Maras, 20 to 1, and Longer Lord, Caro, and the rest 25 to 1. Now here in my first selection is number three, and that is number three is Iris Bell, Uncle Market on board. Um, this horse has had three runs. Now I do believe that Spree is an um, above average horse. He's won well, and as well run well since. And then it was beaten, um, just beaten by Walker Typhoon. And last time out leading over the 1200 meters on the gravel, uh, just got run out of it by Captain Adriano and was, uh, was hanging. So now today, and it, uh, it's drawn nicely, it's draw, it draw free. It's got Anton Marcus on board, who currently has the biggest, the highest percentage strike rate on Gravel. So definitely, I think Iris Bell in with a huge chance. One of my outside selections, my, my number four, my Lord and Master, trained by the Master Dennis Breyer, Sean Wheel, drawn four. The doors improved from his first run to his second run. Uh, running on nicely, um, fast as 400 to finish, but I must say in a relatively slow time, but that was on the poly, now on the, um, back on the turf, but I do think it has got a, a nice chance. My other outsider selection is number 14, which is um, Count Mars, Duke of Marmalade, Gialdi, and, um, sorry, just want to scroll down there. It is drawn 14, but Stuart Randolph is an old jockey. He knows how to get a jockey, you know, how to cope with that outside of jaws. This horse, in both of his runs, he really un ran on a nice, especially in his last run on the Scotsman over a thousand meters, clocking a 23.1, uh, 400 to finish, which is very really good. 
And I do think this horse will be improved to be involved in the fees. So definitely a horse that you need to look at. Other horses in with chances, there's lots of horses with chances. Number six, the kingdom can probably be improved from that run. Um, another, another horse which um, I only picked up uh, later on, number five, what a rider. But I do think that a 1200 meter might just be a, 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 a touch short. But this horse also ran on lightly in his last race over 1400 meters. So maybe include in the back end of your quartets. And the favorite is um, number 10, Wister Nova. It also had a nice debut behind it's a global view. I think this global view stallion is going to be a stallion for the future. And this horse debuted nicely behind um, Double Rainbow and ran on well late. So definitely 20 feet went one. Also a nice introduction, uh, but that was under poly now on, onto the onto the grass, the turf, and it's drawn thin, which, um, you know, as I said, wide draws is a bit tricky at Gravel. So that then is the first race. So let's move on to the second race. The second race is being a maiden plate over 1,400 meters. Where the betting is as follows. Arctic tune 12 to 10, Instinct to Tower 9 to 2, King Cypress 10 to 1. Shamuzi 12 to 1, Love the View 12 to 1, Montana Sky 12 to 1, Cupid 16 to 1, 16 to 1, Christmas Bay 25 to 1, and longer the rest. Now, here my selection is number uh, 4, Shamuzi, a curve ball by uh, Overlord Mayor. Definitely, some stand there, really, uh, not really that you do see often anymore, but um, that Campbell Stable is in form. And this was also ran on very well for me, 23.7. Behind um, Gravel last time out from the core 11, now drawn four, and I do think Samusi will be there when the photos are taken. Outside of selections is number eight, Cupid. Cupid um, has had two runs, and I think he has improved a little bit. Last time out, went over the 1600 meters, um, but I think now back over the 1400 meters will soon uh, can also be involved in the finish. And then here we have number 14, Montana Sky. Uh, this horse has been running uh, on the poly, um, ran two, pra uh, two places in the poly, but also drawn 14, but I do think definitely that it inclusion in all your bets. Now, here's a favorite number 11, Arctic Tune, a noble tune by Stromwell, Gavin from Sales Junior Stable. This horse did um, debut well behind the Cami Man, but also drawn a little bit wide, um, drawn 11, when Agrella on board. But say rolled out late, many people went eight for one to finish. Also in with a chance. Another one that you need to include in all your bets is King Cyrus, a Savannah by Ford with me. Wow, what a breeding. I, I, I can have a horse like that, Savannah by Ford with me. You know, uh, Ford with me. Um, this horse has only run over a thousand meters and a thousand two hundred. And I think from draw three today, King Cyrus can be a huge candidate for the first place, as the distance would definitely suit. Love the view. Um, has had one run here. Also a global view, Lyle Hewitson. And I think the 49 meter with all this will also suit, as we have a mayor here by Saddle Bells. So definitely 49 meters, look for improvement. From number six, love the view. Then we move on to race number number three, which was a maiden plate, and the betting as follows. Number seven, fire on the track, 16 to 10, Racer, Oliva, 3 to 1, Green Phantom, 5 to 1, Double Gemini, 8 to 1, Rock of Me, 16 to 1, Golden Duck, 20 to 1, Dark Fate, 20 to 1, 20 to 5 to 1, Deputy Mask. And longer the race, 20 to 1 and longer the race. So here is my uh, selections for race number three. Number first selection is number five. Race Alleluia, Race Alleluia. Alleluia has had two runs. And both of them were fair runs. Um, Warren Kennedy on board and um, today for the first time on the turf. But I don't think there were a, pro a problem moving from the poly to the turf. This horse is nicely bred. A Tirario where Blackman and Lewis may, and this horse has run two links behind and two links behind. Um, and I think last time I was hanging in, maybe 
one in ten is straighten it out. Drawn five today, and I think Raise Hallelujah will raise a huge run today. Here we have got a favorite number seven, Fire on the Track, um, Robbie Hill Stable, Anton Marcus on board. This horse has run two decent races last time, and last two runs, and can definitely be involved in the finish. Going over the 800 for the first time, but I think the distance shouldn't be a problem. Then my outsider selection here is um, number eight, Green Phantom, uh, Lyle Hewitson. This horse has also been running on license. You see here, second pass, the second pass, the second pass, the second pass, 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 pass. And this horse keep on running, and I do think that the 1800 meter today will definitely be down, be down the alley of Green Phantom. Doing truly all your faith. Number 10, Golden Duck is a Paul Haverty in with uh, Philly. He's always been there and thereabouts, also sometimes ran good races, sometimes ran bad races, but I see that it, it's getting sort of consistency now. So maybe Golden Duck and nice includes in, in the back end of your four tips. Now I'm going to move on to race number four, which is a Medivac 89 handicap plus C. Average Medivac will see with the eight tips. Have a look at the betting. Things as follows Divine Youth 28 to 10, New Stream 32 to 10, The Bayou 7 to 1, Jack of Hearts 7 to 1, 10 to 1, Wildlife Safari, Arrows Mark 12 to 1, Kentucky Spirit 12 to 1, Patch 2 12 to 1, and Pollard 16 to 1, 20 to 1, and Longer the Rooms. Here in this race, I'm going for a bit of an outsider. Maybe I'm on the wrong path, I don't know. But yeah, I do think. The patch it too comes from, has relocated from Joburg, has had two runs in the province. Um, but if you have a look here, we're running here in a, in a C Division 78, and this horse has been running in that division. He's actually won a C Division 78 over 2,000 meters. They're going the 1,800 meters, but I don't think that should be a problem. Um, I think the last two runs in this uh, was a bit short, but if you have a look here, running in, a, in 104, Behind Jet Start, Jet Stone Start has like won five races. And I do feel that with Lyle Hewitson today, it's sort of a jockey strike, but unfortunately, it is draw 10. But I think this horse will be running on at the end and um, definitely inclusion. Lyle Hewitson might even decide from that draw to take it to the horse to the front or put him um, you know, close to the front because if I see in his previous races, that was the way that he ran and, and the way that he won. So uh, I think definitely um, a huge uh, inclusion would be all your bets today. In my outside selections, number six is um, Wildlife Safari. It's also it's, uh, consistent, always three things behind, four things behind, and um, has run against stronger British and Dynasties Blossom, Merlin from Berlin, and I do think uh, Wildlife Safari can be involved in the finish today. As with my other outsider selection, number 11, Jack of Hearts. Jack of Hearts is getting minus four and has also run against some um, very good opposition. The 1800 might be just a little bit short for him, but I think yeah, the horse can um, you know, uh, improve. As see lately, they put on blinkers for the horse and he's getting a minus four that will definitely make a huge difference in, from the golf cooler yard. So include Jack of Hearts in your golf positions. Divine U um, is carrying a 52, minus 2.5 plus 1.5, so it's carrying 51. Has won some nice races, but in a little bit lower divisions, but um, he's, he's improving. He can also be involved in the finish. I see he's now with the Peter Muscat stable, being with two before with Crawford. It looks like to me Peter Muscat just took over all the horses from Brett Crawford. Having a few runners today. Let's move on to race number five, which is a maiden plate over 2,400 meters. Here we have a strong favorite, number 10, Jack in the Box, 9 to 2, uh, 9, uh, 9 to 10, 9 to 2, Tiger Tank, Grail and Gauri, 8 to 1, Prospero, 14, Doremi, 14, 14, San Verde, 16 to 1, and longer the race. So here in this race, we're going for the favorite, number 6. Jack in the box. Last time out was just, um, you know, was just didn't was just uh, run out of it by Cherokee Chief. But I think over the two four today, 
water cannon on board whose horse is um, will definitely be hard to beat over this, this distance today. The outsider selections is number 12. Do Re Mi. Do Re Mi is also improving nicely, getting the minus two and a half, leaving it with uh, 56 or 53 and a half to carry, but from draw 12, but definitely uh, a horse that you need to include in all your play. In my other outsider selections, number 13, San Verde. Always, all the last few runs always over the long distances has been placing over that and be running on. Um, so definitely those that you can put in all your, your calculations. And yes, number 14, Tiger Tank has shown huge improvement in his last race. Uh, but I have to, well, I have to confirm also drawn 14. Then we move on to the next race, which is race number six. Race number six is a pleasure mere 69 handicap. Let's have a look at the bedroom. Here we have here and after three to one, Charity Lane 33 to 10, Kings playing six to one, Wishful Girl uh, seven to one, Hot Money 11 to one, Cars of 8 14 to one, Ingest 14 to one, S seven Barrianos 16 to one, and longer the rest. Race so six, um, my, my selection is number 14. Unfortunately, it's drawn a little bit wide, Ingest, but this table is in form, Ingest, had that two wheels last week. And we have it running here in the 65. This horse has been running in 75s, 74s, 69s. There and second to Eden Garden Blitz. Eden Garden Blitz has completed the hat trick, has won two races since um, last time out. If she's examined normal, I don't know what went wrong there behind Black Pass, but it was also in higher division. And today coming down, unfortunately, drawn 14. That can be a bit of a, a, a problem. But this horse has caused this to seven months, two wins and two fourths and I do feel that um, in just uh, can definitely improve and, and win in, in this in this company. Outside of selections is number 12. Is this other thing number 12? Queen's Plain. Queen's Plain a very really consistent horse, always running well, always there and thereabouts, definitely inclusion in all your calculations. Then the other outside of selection is number five. Wishful girl in. I did give this horse last time out. It's three minus two and a half. He ignored the last run, and that horse, I don't know what happened with him on that run. He never jumped well. He was never in convention. And uh, although he still, you know, he, did, he managed to finish over just under eight legs behind, but I feel um, that this horse will be run a better race today. So include in your calculations. Then we have here, we have number one and number two. Now, um, you know, for me, Number one and two are very close together. They have, they did run in the same race behind Treasure Pro last time. The year and after finished 1.8 leagues behind and Treasure proved 2.25. They're both on the same weights again. So in theory, number one should beat number two. But uh, this time, Anton Marcus on board of number two. So number one and two very close. You need to include in all your play. But they're both carrying high weights, 59.5. It can make it difficult to win against these hard knocking older horses. And let's move on to race number seven, which is a pretty good stakes over a thousand meters. And let's have a look at the betting. We have Sunset Ice 2018, Guru's Pride 9 to 2, Captain OP 5 to 1, Good Rhythm 6 to 1, Winter Tour 8 to 1, Way with 12 to 1, Moana 14 to 1, Filipino 16 to 1. 16 to 1 cold out, cash 3 to 1 and longer the rest. Yeah, in theory, you know, this is a pinnacle stack, so all you have to do is to look at the best weighted um, uh, column. But, and then in theory, that should be the horses that fight out the finish. But unfortunately, in this race today, it's not that difficult, that easy. A lot of the horses carrying high weights, um, as you can see here today, carrying 62, 64. 64, 61 and a half, 62. So there's a lot of um, horses that are carrying, uh, you know, a, a huge weight, but some of them do get their printers. Good rhythm um, has run a nice race, but um, a little less company, but 
I think the thousand meters will be too short. My selection is number five, Sun says ice. I think the distance won't be a problem. The tank 64 for getting minus two and a half. Ran nicely behind the hard to play. We came out the next time and just um, had run out of it. But before, ran in the company of Van Halen and Mardi Gras has beaten Filippo. I think Sunset Eyes can be the right horse in this race today. But my selection for the first place is number 10, Captain Open. This is a three-year-old that's improving. He's only carrying 55. Has one two of his races, and today will be his test if he can, you know, uh, beat the older horses. So Captain Opie definitely, I think, also in with a huge chance. Outside of selections, I'm looking at the number three, Bawana. Uh, also a horse that um, has won over this distance. Um, also getting the minus two and a half, and 64, but has also run a best, against the best in the country and has not been disgraced. Definitely in with a chance. Number four, Frilippo, also a horse that likes the distance and also has run against some useful company in the past, can be involved in the finish with number five, Sunset Eyes. Sunset Eyes. So let's go to the last race. Race eight is a merit of 78 handicap. Class C, average merit of 73. And here the betting is as follows. Number one, Kings Road, 72. Alfonso Spodlami, say 41. Bible it's 7 to 1, Hey Boy 9 to 1, Valley I have 10 to 1, Happy Wonder 12 to 1, Baron Rooney 14, Quant Master 14, Just a Life 14, and 16 to 1 and longer the list. So let's have a look here. My first selection here is number 4, which is by Bridge. Uh, he's just one of the XPE horses, but Brooklyn. But then did run well last time behind Kingston Rock. Um, and I do feel that um, today over the little bit shorter will definitely give a huge account of himself. Lars Hewitson on board. Then number five, Baron Rooney, has also come, has also a Joe horse, has had a few runs in the new province, wasn't this race, has been running in much stronger companies, 80, 86, 86 today in the 73. And I do feel in Baron Rooney in this class today, can be competitive. My other outsider selection is number seven, Mallorca Play. This horse is only one on Kimi Achim PE, but I like the breeding and also one uh, not too bad beating Stranger Danger, which is I actually think a lot of, and this horse is 20 to one, not to leave out of your calculations. They're only all a very open race. Alfonso Spigoni, last time ran second, behind Captain OP. If Captain Opie did win today, this will enhance his chances. I definitely think in all your all your play. Um, yeah, there are a few horses that can improve. Yeah, Fremy Water can improve. Um, a boy um, is getting places here and there. So also a very uh, open race. Uh, to hard to find a winner. Uh, yes, Anton Marcus on King's Road ran second last time out. In, in, on Turfontaine inside track, um, yeah, uh, can also maybe be involved in the finish. So all in all, a difficult car today. I hope I could point you in the right directions for a few uh, for a few winners. And as I always say, break the leg.